Hi YouTube subscribers, in this playlist you're going to learn about an artificial intelligence technique called goal oriented action learning. Now I have a whole course available on this but in this playlist you're going to go through the first part of it to get up a simple hospital simulation where you've got patients and nurses interacting in an environment. As always the solution file is available for my patrons so please consider becoming a patron and supporting my work. The starter file will be available and when it's needed you will get a link to that on my website so enjoy and if you do enjoy and get to the end of this and want to learn more then I have courses that you can also look at to expand the simulation goal oriented action planning or GOPE for short is an AI technique that was devised by Jeff Orkin of MIT in the early 2000s it was successfully applied in the game Fear to control the behaviour of the NPCs. If you want to learn more about it, you can read through the research papers available at this address. GOPE has all the elements of a finite state machine, but works with them very differently. For example, the finite state machines, as you have seen before, define behaviours and conditions to drive the NPC at fulfilling some goal. To achieve this with a finite state machine, you could have one massive graph or divide it up into smaller units. GOPE also uses graphs for its processing, but differs from finite state machines in that the actions and goals are decoupled. Actions are free elements within the system that are mixed and matched to meet goals when they are presented. Instead of having a set list of actions that need to be performed to achieve a goal, GOPE allows for numerous solutions to be chosen from. So instead of a system that looks like this, in GOPE all the links are removed. Then when a goal is presented, an appropriate course of action can be chosen from all of the available tasks based on the state of the agent and the world. For example, if an agent were asked to kill an enemy and it didn't have a weapon, it could choose a physical fight. However, if it did have a weapon, a different set of actions would become available. Every action in GOPE has a precondition and an effect. The precondition is a state that must be met before the action can take place. The effect is how the action leaves the state of the agent or the world after it has occurred. A set of actions forms a kind of puzzle or set of dominoes where the preconditions can be matched with effects and the effects match with preconditions to create action chains. Let's look at an example. Consider this set of actions. If you take a close look, you will see they focus on eating. If you take a closer look, you might be able to see two plans that you could form yourself. One for ordering pizza and one for baking. An agent with these actions won't do anything until presented with a goal. In this case, let's trigger the goal hungry equals false. The goal is the end state of the agent, not the starting state. If you think about it, a recurring human goal is to have hungry equal false as often as possible. Plans can generally only occur when the world and or the agent are in a particular state. For this example, let's add two. Has ingredients is true and has phone number is true. The planning stage in GOPE always works backwards from the goal to see if it is achievable. It does this by matching the effects with preconditions into a chain. It works all the way back to the world states. If it can't find a matching world state at the end, the plan is abandoned. In this example, there are two possible plans available, order a pizza and bake something to eat. Notice the reuse of the eat action. It fits into both plans and illustrates how actions can be mixed and matched to form different plans. As long as the preconditions and effects fit together, any actions can be chained together. Now that we have two plans that will achieve the goal, which one do we choose? Simple, we add a cost to the plans. We might assign each action a monetary cost. In this case, the pizza plan works out dearer, assuming we already have the ingredients for baking. We might instead opt for a time-based cost as well. This would make the baking option more costly. With costs assigned to each plan, when there are multiple, the cheapest one can be selected first. If there are multiple plans with the same lowest cost, then one can be picked at random. A conceptualization of a GOPE system looks like this, with actions, goals and world states being fed into a planner. The planner chains the actions together according to the goals and starting states to determine which plans are achievable. 
The planner uses the A star algorithm to find the best plan using the cost values. Once a plan has been generated, the agent goes about achieving it using a very, very simple finite state machine that basically moves the agent to where the action needs to take place and then performs the action. The agent works its way along the chain of actions until a goal has been achieved. Before each action is performed, it is always checked to see if it is still valid. If not, the entire plan is discarded and another one is generated. The beauty of GOPE is that more and more actions can be added to the pool available to the agent and these will automatically be picked up by the planner. This means very little extra programming to recognize graphs like the ones in complete setups of finite state machines, as the graphs are generated on the fly by the planner. This makes GOPE a very powerful and flexible option for programming the behaviors of your NPC. If you'd like to support our work, like us on YouTube, visit our website, holistic3d.com, look for our courses on holistic3dlearn.com or support us on Patreon.